good afternoon everyone i'm dimitri sanayaka uh, now i am going to discuss about how to complete your course kits of clinical practice modules uh, how to complete course kits of your specialized modules uh, your module may be critical care nursing emergency nursing uh, renal nursing oncology nursing pediatric nursing or uh, psychiatric nursing whatever the module uh, to complete the course kit you have to do uh, same task so to complete this uh, course kit uh, you have to um, go to a a specialized unit according to your specialized area uh, means uh, if you have chosen critical care nursing you have to go to an intensive care unit to, uh, uh, for a unit uh, where uh, critical uh, critically ill patients are um, admitted and you have to get that experience you have to work in with critically ill patients eh? Um, you have to get the experience um, if you have no facilities uh, uh, or if you have no uni uh, particular unit in your hospital uh, so you can go to uh, RCD hospital um, uh, we will issue a letter uh, uh, and you, you, you can go to the RCD hospital and you can um, complete uh, cl that clinical hours you have to complete uh, 104 clinical hours in that particular unit um, so and uh, if you are not working in the in the uh, that specialized unit uh, if you your hospital has that particular unit also uh, you can go to that unit so for to go to that unit uh, we need to uh, issue a letter so uh, we need your information uh, to issue the letter so please inform about your need to the department then we will issue a letter uh, and they, they after that you can go to uh, the unit and um, complete your clinical hours actually this is apart from your duty hours so during your duty hours you cannot go to the particular unit and cannot complete the clinical hours um, out of the out of your duty hours you have to go to that unit and you have to complete the 104 clinical hours so to complete the course kit um, you have to basically you have to do four things um, whatever the module, module you follow you have to complete four things first uh, task is running assessment uh, then you have to write a case study then uh, based on then uh, that case study you have to do do a uh, nursing care presentation and then you have to uh, complete log book procedures depending on the module uh, the allocated marks uh, may be very uh, module to module uh, but uh, the task you have to do are same for all the modules only the marks will be vary so first we'll talk about running assessment so in running assessment what you have to do is you have to select uh, two procedures uh, given uh, by them so they have given a list of procedures among them you have to uh, select two and you have to perform uh, that two procedures in front of your local preceptor um, and you have to get the signature of your local preceptor for uh, those uh, procedures so I will show you uh, the procedures uh, so these are the procedures that you have to perform you can 
select in a, each and every uh, course kit uh, and there are uh, procedures uh, need to complete so I have taken uh, the list from the greener nursing uh, course kit uh, so the so you uh, li like this you have to complete uh, procedures so they have mentioned uh, the steps of the procedures so you have to follow that steps and you have to perform the task uh, and you will be evaluated by your local preceptor and she needs to give her signature so among the given uh, procedures you have to complete or you have to perform only two procedures then you have to complete a case study second task is you have to write case study uh, so you have to for that you have to uh, select a patient um, from the particular unit that you have uh, cared for and uh, you have to write about that pa uh, patient using 4500 to 5000 words um, so uh, what uh, you have to write for the case study uh, it's mentioned here so first there should be a title in the cow page um, so you can mention the title as the nursing care and management of a client with then you can mention the condition of your selected patient uh, and uh, then uh, uh, section one of your case study will be introduction so what we have to write for the introduction so in introduction you should mention all the uh, related information about your uh, patient's condition and let's say you have chosen uh, if you are doing renal nursing you selected the patient with uh, chronic renal failure then you, for the introduction you have to uh, describe about chronic renal failure what is chronic renal failure pathophysiology uh, risk factors um, investigations uh, and medical management then uh, under section 2 you have to uh, describe about your patient that means you have to describe uh, your case so under that first you have to give the demographic data of your patient then uh, findings of uh, the history or history taking findings and then uh, the physical examination findings after that you have to mention about the nursing care management of your patient so for that you have to use the uh, nursing process all the steps of the nursing pro process you have to mention uh, and uh, then you have to put the care plan uh, and uh, finally you have to write a conclusion uh, conclusion or a summary uh, then after that you can uh, add the reference list using a PA style and if there are, uh, there are anything that you need to attach to the uh, case study you can uh, attach this under uh, annexes or appendices uh, so we have given a sample format for case study write-up so you can use that format uh, and uh, you, you can change uh, wherever necessary according to your patient condition and uh, you, you can follow that format to write your case study so uh, in the Moodle the, the case study sample is there you can follow that and 
then uh, you have to do a case study presentation of uh, 15 minutes uh, so for that uh, you have to include uh, uh, both the description about the patient's condition and uh, nursing management of your uh, patient so uh, how did you manage your patient you have to mention in the presentations also some some students uh, when they are doing presentations they mention only about the condition theory uh, part of the uh, theory uh, related to the particular condition they mention only the theory uh, that's wrong so basically you have to mention both the, uh, both the condition plus the how did you manage your uh, patient Bo both of the things should be there uh, when you are making uh, PowerPoint presentations. Uh, so uh, you have given uh, only 15 minutes for the presentation and on only 5 minutes pr uh, for the discussion. So um, that uh, case study uh, presentation you should be able to finish within 15 minutes so uh, the maximum number of slides will be 30 uh, and that is maximum so uh, try to make your presentation uh, within that 30 slides uh, and then the fourth task is uh, you have to maintain a logbook and uh, you have to complete logbook procedures so in that logbook procedures major procedures and minor procedures are there uh, they have given in your course kit so those things also you need to uh, perform uh, in front of your local preceptor and uh, you have to get the signature of your local preceptor so and uh, then um, you have to maintain the attendance record uh, for clinical hours uh, they are uh, you have, as I told earlier you have to complete 104 clinical hours and according to this chart you have to mention the date time and total hours you complete during that day and you have to get the signature of your local preceptor um, and so you have to complete all these th tasks then um, you have you, you have to uh, there is a, when you submit uh, this course kit you have to check whether all these uh, items are there so they have given a checklist uh, in each and every course kit so you have to check all these uh, things are there before uh, submitting your course kit to the department and um, so uh, the about things uh, that means the running assessment case study uh, case study presentation um, logbook procedures attendance record all things you have to uh, bind together and uh, you have to submit uh, those things with this non graded uh, assessment so uh, so there are some forms uh, which should be uh, evaluated by your you about your performance so these things also you have to attach to uh, that course kit and 
you have to attach the rubrics for case study writer uh, and if you are in if you include your hard copy of your powerpoint presentation uh, you have to uh, attach the rubric of uh, the presentation also and then uh, this self evaluation forms also you have to attach at the end and um, you have to submit uh, the course kit as one book so at the uh, time of uh, the presentation uh, if you couldn't uh, complete your clinical hours you can do the presentation if you have done the case study you can do the presentation uh, and you can uh, submit it separately then the rest of the things you can submit later uh, before the due date so that's about uh, completing the course kit of your uh, specialized modules clinical practice modules so this is the uh, cow page you have to use so uh, you have to attach this page as the cow page of your course kit so if you have any queries or any doubts uh, you can uh, call one of us, uh, any of the academic in uh, the department and you can clarify your queries. Thank you.